Live with Lerwick on West Lakeview Drive here in Mount Juliet. How you doing? Pretty well. How are you today? Oh, I didn't know I was going to. I just done my hair. Well, man, you don't look much better than me, so we're all both in the same same shape. I'm just glad the sun's finally out, neighbor. Glad the sun's out and it's above 50. That's right. So we're out here at West Lakeview this afternoon checking out this um, property, which is a flip. And um, it's right off the lake here, uh, Old Hickory Lake. And uh, the next door neighbor is clearing his lot. And, um, you know, he might be building there, uh, clearing all that timber off by hand and getting ready to build a lake house right there. Got this little creek uh, culvert running down here. Imagine you get some serious water running down there when it rains here in Middle Tennessee like it has last week. But, you know, that comes and goes, right? I mean, that's not all day, every day. And this property is not in the flood zone. So that's great news, too. No flood insurance required here. It's really pretty. It's really old school. It's, it's nature. I mean, we got these great pine trees all around this property. We got some A-frame houses on this road as well and um just a great area on old hickory lake with this little old fishing cottage converted into a real nice single family residence here it is three bedrooms and two bathrooms um double level living this has a basement level as well so we're going to go in and check it out here uh, as soon as we get around the ground so you got this little stone bridge here which goes across this little area over there. It's 0.63 lot size. So 0.63 on the lot size there. And just a lot of character on this one. I mean, just I see a place like this and I just wonder about its history and the stories that were written here for generations of families potentially. So our sellers have done a lot of the work for us. They have started the flip process. It's pretty far along. And they're at a point where they're just moving on from this property based on funds needed for their next purchase. So um, there's still some work to be done here. Uh, of course, landscaping, some stonework, some mason work. Make sure it's all secured and there's no critters living underneath the house. Or if there is, we get rid of those critters and, and get them out of there. And um, we just get this property cleaned up nice. And we can either turn this into a long-term rental or this is even airbnb uh, Plenty of room for you to bring your boat and park it here in this great parking area here at the end of the driveway. Um, a lot of ground to do that right here. And so, yeah, we're going to go inside and take a look at this and see how far along it is and see what we need to, to do to get this completed yet and ready and livable. Now, this is listed at 349000 so um, that's considered a steal here, really, these days in Middle Tennessee. So, we'll, we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll work our way back down. This is just over 1,200 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. The exterior does need quite a bit of work, um, but the interior, pretty much all the work's been done. So um, we'll go take a look at the interior. You've got these brand new decks here, uh, lower and upper. You've got great stonework, a lot of character here, a lot of opportunity here for something amazing to be done. Now you've got like a pallet roof, it looks like here, which is some really cool character. Bet you weren't expecting that, were you, when we walked inside? Bob's over there with the wood chipper and his Cub Cadet mower pulling it. I didn't say a word about that. <laughs> I love Middle Tennessee life. You never know what you're going to encounter, especially when you're showing houses. So I came in a little while ago and checked out everything. Got a new breaker box there. Actually, not new, but um, really well put together. It's very clean. I like that. So this is the main living area. It's an old place, but they've redone it really nicely. Look at this stone fireplace and the tile in front of it. Three different types there. You've got white brick, you've got the mosaic, you've got that really nice mantle there. You've got nice lighting done the inside of here. Nice range and hood. You've got this marble over here, this, this um, countertop here. It's very marbled in look is what I meant. Um, great quartz for real. Nice cabinets, um, nice view out the back. I mean, this is going to be a great residence for somebody who wants to get away from it all a little bit. Look at the, look at the, I mean, look at that, that um, character in that marble right there. And these countertops. I love it. 
And then you've got good windows in here. Um, a lot of work's done on the interior of this one, getting it ready to flip. And then you're out looking at the back. Unfortunately, the neighbor's got some graffiti on their fence over there and a tree house over there, but um, it's fenced and that's good news. And just like I said before, you can look at the exterior here and see a lot of debris lying around. This place has been empty for a while. So it's definitely been purchased and um, partially renovated and it still needs some more reno done, but a lot, a lot of the reno has been done, especially on the interior. However, I did see some stuff when we came in earlier. There, you know, it's not the highest quality reno. There are some ripples in some of the drywall work that has been done. There's still some more sanding that might need to be done on a few spots of drywall to get it to really where you want it to be. I mean, you look up here, there's a little wave in the ceiling right there in that um, ceiling drywall area. You know, this is an older house. You're gonna have some of that stuff. The roof did look okay to me. There's a, another wave right there. You can see in that drywall above the mantle. I just, I just think it's character, man. I think this place has got a lot of character. So this is the main living area and this is the bathroom off of the main living area. It does have a linen closet in it. It does have a full bath there, new cabinetry, new mirror. Um, you know, there's your, your linen closet right there and you can see the interior of it with the old style still. And then um, there's that main living area again. Laundry's gonna be right over there. So we'll check that out in a second. Um, and then we're gonna go in here to bedroom two with a narrow doorway. That is one thing I noticed walking through. I'm a full figured man, so to speak, broad shouldered. And uh, there's a little tight squeezing through here. So um, you can definitely get mattress and stuff in here, but as far as um, chairs and sofas and stuff, you're gonna have to take off that door for sure to fit it into here. And they've put a nice closet in here, a nice ceiling fan as well. And you've got that great flooring in this bedroom as well. And then over here is a bedroom number two. Live with Lerwick in Mount Juliet slash Hendersonville, right on Old Hickory Lake. Um, this could fit a queen bed or a full bed in here. Then you do have a closet. And there's that fireplace, I love it. Man, I could hang out here. <laughs> And, and as I mentioned, you know, some of the stuff, um, like if we look at this right here, I noticed this earlier when I came in. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually crooked. Okay, I'm actually straight on right now. That's just the way they did it though. It's crooked. Can you live with that? I can live with that as far as the positioning of that baseboard and then that drywall work there, just a little bit crooked. I might have taken the extra time to straighten that out, but great storage potential here. I mean, a little bit of waves in the drywall and another coat of paint might be needed here. And then this is the area for your washer and dryer right here inside this back door area. And then um, here's a little porch going off of the washer and dryer area here. You can see that. This goes out into that back area. There's the neighbor's place and the pine trees that we looked at earlier. And the steps going down the back side. A lot of cleanup needed out here yet, you know, a lot of painting and stuff needed, but it can be done. It's not quite there, you know what I'm saying? Not quite, but it's it's really far along. And this is going to be a nice house for somebody to call home in. So you wash and dry right there. And this, this is really cool to me. When you come in that back door right there, look at this exposed brick. I mean, how much do you love that, right? I'd put a little bar right there. <laughs> That's what I'd do. We go downstairs and there's some waves in the drywall here. It just needs another coat of paint, but we could do eggshell on it, you know? And that might hide some of that stuff as well. It's all flat paint right now. And that might be why we're seeing a lot of that stuff. We've got pretty decent um, cell coverage and Wi-Fi coverage out here. So I'm happy about that on Old Hickory Lake here in Mount Juliet slash Hendersonville. We're going downstairs. You got a big room right here, okay? So I'm calling this the master. This is really big, okay? With a real big walk-in closet right there, okay? Nice little bench in there. And this is definitely gonna be the master with a ceiling fan in it. A lot of room here. Just 
There's your front yard, there's that parking area right there. And then directly across from your master is going to be the full bath. It's not, you know, attached to the master per se, but it's right across the hall. Now the tile in here is not actually tile. It's, it's luxury vinyl plank marbled. Okay, it's marbled luxury vinyl plank. So that's not actual real tile. But really nice work here on the vanity and cabinet. You got a full shower there with a glass door. And then over here, you have got access into the crawl space. See, need some cleanup there. My home inspection will point that out for sure, all that debris. But it's just, you know, work that needs to be done. It's not horrible work. It's a couple of days labor for you, maybe. Um, here's another door to the outside, to that other deck. So this could be a split living. You know, you've got a bathroom and two bedrooms upstairs, and you've got one bathroom and a master downstairs. This could actually be two rental units, potentially. Yeah, could be some great revenue right there, potentially. And then in here is your hot water heater, which is new, the new piping. And then over here, you've got your sump pump and you've got your crawl space. A lot of insulation hanging down, easy to fix. Um, lots of stuff here that needs to be fixed as far as, you know, exterior and we need a vapor barrier in there. You know, there's gonna be some stuff to be done here for sure, okay? There are a lot of, you know, little things that need to just be taken care of. And it's, they've got it pretty far along, but they're capitalizing on this hot market here in Middle Tennessee and listing this for sale right now and of course this is one where we would definitely get a home inspection or not you know we might put this under contract and then just do a seven day due diligence period to get some people in here to look at it and you can see some of the waves in the ceiling there i was talking about with some of the drywall work that was done okay you know but if you're buying this as an investment you don't have to live here so you don't have to look at that every day you don't have to see that you know and, and your renters are going to pay your mortgage for you here. It's close to the lake. People can use this as an Airbnb potentially if they want to. So, yeah, really a nice property. Um, is it perfect? No. But it's pretty far along. A lot of the work's been done for you already. 